Alright, so on lunch, on the way to see the wife as normal. So I wanted to kind of give an update of the whole uh, doctor. I know it's really frustrating, like I said before, enjoying something like lifting and then someone telling you that is no longer an option anymore. So what I did was I scheduled a different appointment with a sports doctor and I'm supposed to see them on Tuesday. Now, normally, as far as my chiropractic care goes, I go to my brother-in-law, he's a chiropractor. So he normally takes care of me, being that I hurt my back, and he's kind of a little ways away. I figured I should probably get into the doctor just to make sure everything was okay, or the chiropractor to make sure everything was okay. So I did, and you know, I told the news before, and that kind of sucked. Now I'm on a different path. He actually suggested I go see the sports doctor that I get x-rays taken because there was no reason for the other chiropractor to tell me something was wrong when she didn't have x-rays ordered or had no x-rays to go off from. So that's kind of where I'm at now, what I'm going through, the next few things I'll be doing. Uh, I'll keep you up to date, everything, that way I can kind of tell you how to how to deal with this, if this ever does happen to you, I hope it never does, it happens. You know, you, I mean, you never know. You always want to try to get that second opinion, especially if you hear something that you don't want to hear. <laughs> as far as uh, my other social media networks go, I just posted a picture to Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, and it was kind of a progress update. I know that I don't get to do much in the gym and show you guys much in the gym of what I do, which really sucks, kind of bums me out. I had the wife take some pictures of me deadlifting in the gym the other day, and it just so happened that she took a picture like early on. I don't, I don't even, I barely remember having the picture taken. It was early on. I was at a heavier weight. I couldn't deadlift as much. So I was like, huh, that's like, wow, you know, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you don't think to take those pictures. You just kind of go in and do your thing, and the results will come, and you forget about you know keeping that kind of progress or having the ability to even do that kind of progress. I was fortunate that my wife was there, snapped that picture, and she's got a picture of me, and I posted it next to what my new deadlift is, and it's like numbers are going up, other numbers are going down, which is weight, of course, and I'm trying to make them go back up now. Everything's going along steadily. I mean, everything's good getting better I'm losing well I'm not losing weight like I said again I lost the weight now I'm trying to uh, now I'm trying to put the weight back on kind of uh, bulk up a little bit but also down beneath the deadlift pictures were my weight progression type pictures there was only two uh, one was taken a few a few years ago I believe my son was five four or five if you get a chance to look at the picture I'm very heavy set <laughs> I've got big old belly. The next picture is, you know, me with my shirt off, you know, showing my six pack that I worked so hard to get. And I'm just like, well, that's, that's awesome. I'm proud to be able to say that I've done that, that I have that, you know, let's not quit and take it further. And I think everybody else can do that too. I believe that you just have to have the motivation and, you know, just go after it. If, you, if that's what you want, then keep it in your sights and just do it. Just don't even think about it. Just go in and do it. You know, I before I was only training. I was training five days a week, uh, Monday through Friday. Took the weekends off. Calories were pretty low. I had a cheat meal every weekend, so I wasn't deprived. You normally don't get to go out and eat every night anyway, or you shouldn't. I mean, if you can afford that, that's great, but I can't afford that. So we normally had a cheat meal every weekend. So I definitely wasn't deprived, like I said. And I was able to obtain those results. Um, most likely, I could have been more cut. I could have lost more weight. It could have got further down on the body fat. I wasn't looking to compete. I'm not looking. I'm still not looking to compete. I mean, I'm not gonna totally throw that aside and say that I never will. You know, I'm just not. I'm not looking to do that right now. And I wasn't then. I just wanted to see if I was able to do it. And I think it was successful. I was able to do that. I was able to get down, uh, shed off the weight, get close to being cut. Um, assuming this next upcoming year will be a lot better because you know, I'll have more muscle on me, hopefully, if the bulk goes right. But I believe everybody can do it. I think everyone can do it and I just have that faith that everybody can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can definitely do it. That being said, if there are any questions or anything that I can help with, I'm not a trainer, I don't know a whole lot as far as 
different training techniques and stuff like that. I can give you exactly what I did. I can give you the calories I had, but again, everybody's gonna be different, so you gotta kinda watch that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, go after it. If you're hungry for it, stay hungry for it. Just do it. Teach their own. Catch you guys later, see what we're gonna do. I don't think we got much planned for the rest of the night. That might be a good thing. Need some rest and relaxation. Get a new video up today. Yeah, be awesome. All right, so on the way home, I had to stop by Walmart, which I forgot to bring my camera in. Not a real big deal, because all I had to do is pick up some bread and some other personal items. The bread that I got, I don't know if anybody else likes this bread or not, but I love it. It's potato bread. I love, I love potato bread. But I've never, up until this point, I've never really looked at the macros, and according to the macros on the back of them, it actually seems to be better than bread. Not sure if that's true or not. If you know any different, post in the comments below. Let us all know, because I don't know. And I love bread. That's what I got. Unfortunately, I forgot to get those little tiny candles that you put in the bottom of your pumpkins. Which is the main reason I went to Walmart. Because we're going to do some pumpkin carving tonight. So I have to stop by my local dollar store and pick up some candles. Carve some pumpkins. Show you guys the end results of the pumpkin carving. If you will. Just rendering up a video right now. Almost done there. Well, I'm starting to change because we're fixing to carve some pumpkins. That's done. And we'll see how all that goes. Alright, so we are almost done cleaning these pumpkins out. There's all our guts. Pumpkin guts. Alright, so two of them I believe we're just going to carve out. Make all pretty and everything. But for the third one. The third one. Take like this too. Yeah. Let's see how that turns out. It should be fun. So as you can see, there's Megan's pumpkin that she did. It looks pretty good. Uh, how do you put your camera on my... This pumpkin we did. This is like our family pumpkin. Hey, you want to put... And this your... is the one we'll be using hey, the jigsaw Daddy. on, which my wife is going hey, to Daddy. record. Hey, it's going to be epic. There it is. Dragon. Came out pretty good except for this part right here. The fact that I drew the teeth on there, but that was it. Carving a pumpkin with a jigsaw. It's like this. Alright, so here's our pumpkins in the dark. All lit up. There's my wife's there. It looks really it's good. I'm really impressed. She did a good job. There's the family one. Yes it is. And this is the other one that I used to carve up with the jigsaw. <laughs> he looks kind of funny. He's missing, cool. he's missing some teeth. Yep, that's it. That is our pumpkins all carved up and ready for Halloween. Alright, tonight was a very fun night. We all got to carve pumpkins. Kids had a great time. We had a great time. We're not going to... Grant's farm tomorrow. We're going to say that until next weekend because we got a really busy day tomorrow as far as going to the gym and going to the movies and all that. Me and the wife are going out on a date. And you don't always have to go out and do anything to actually have fun with the kids. So we stayed in. Had some fun anyway. Everyone have a good one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Teach their own.